Hi everyone, in today's video, we will be solving some problems on arithmetic sequence. Now recall that when we talk about arithmetic sequence, these are simply ordered sets of numbers that have a common difference between each consecutive term, all right? So I have highlighted here the two keywords, ordered sets, that have a common difference between each consecutive term, all right? So usually, the arithmetic sequence is of the form a sub 1, comma, a sub 2, comma, a sub 3, up to the a sub n, okay? Now, uh, let's have some examples of arithmetic sequence here. It's up here, 4, 7, 10, 13, and 16. Now, based on our definition, it is an ordered set, okay, of numbers that have a common difference between each consecutive term. And so if we try to look at the first sequence, there is a common difference here. 4, 7, 10, 13, and 16. And if you notice, there is a, a common difference, which is 3. So if we add 3 in each term, it will give us the next number of a sequence. So 4 plus 3, that will give us 7. And 7 plus 3, that will give us 10. 10 plus 3, that will give us 13. And 13 plus, uh, three, uh, plus 3, that will give us 16. And the sequence uh, continues up to the A sub N of the sequence. All right? Now, let's have another one. We have here 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And so, can you spot the difference? All right? So, if you notice, if we're going to subtract uh, 1 in each term, okay, the, the, the sequence is decreasing, so we subtract 1 in each term, right? What have we noticed? So 5 minus 4, or 5 minus 1, that will give you 4. And 4 minus 1, that will give you 3. And 3 minus 1, that will give you 2. And 2 minus 1, that will give you 1. And then, again, the sequence continues up to the a sub n of the sequence. All right, and so if we're going to solve for the n element of the sequence, we can simply get the the first term, okay, and then the common difference, right, and then we subtract the number of terms that we have by one, and then we multiply it to the common difference then that will give you the nth term of the sequence right and so this is the formula that we're going to observe in solving for the nth element of the sequence all right let's have the first example find the 25th term of the arithmetic sequence 3 7 11 and 15 all right and so we are to solve for the 25th term of the sequence all right so what is the 25th term of this sequence, all right? But we are given of the a sub 1, which is uh, 3, or the a sub 1 is the first element, and we're also given of n. Our n is uh, 25, since we are to solve for the 25th term, so our n is 25. And we have our common difference, what is the common difference of this sequence, right? So if you notice, if we're going to add 4 here, okay, 3 plus 4, that will give us 7. And if we add 4 here, that will give us 11. 7 plus 4 is 11. And if we add 4 here, that will give us 15. And so the sequence uh, continues up to the 25th term, right? And so our D here is 4. All right, so recall that the formula in solving for the nth term of the arithmetic sequence is a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. All right, and so we are given of our to solve for the 25th term, and we are given of the first element, which is 3, plus n, which is 25, minus 1 times the common difference which is 4 right 
And so we're going to simplify this one. This will give us 3 plus 24 times 4. And notice that 24 times 4 is 96. So this will give us 3 plus 96. And 3 plus 96 is simply 99. So this is the 25th term of this sequence. All right, so let's write it here. 99 is the 25th term of this arithmetic sequence. All right, let's have the second example. The second term of an arithmetic sequence is 24, and the fifth term is 3. Find the first term and the common difference. All right, and so we are to solve for the first term and the common difference of the sequence. And we are given of the second term, which is 24. This is the second term. This is the first term. This is the third. This is the fourth. And this is the fifth term. All right? Now, so we are to solve for the a sub 1 on the first term and the common difference d. All right. Now, there are two things that you need to do here in order for you to solve for the common difference. So the first thing you need to do here is to consider the first two elements or the first two terms. And so if we're going to consider these two terms, this will give us a formula a sub 2 equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. All right. And since our a sub 2 is given, which is 24, a sub 1 is unknown, n is also given. Since there are two terms, then our n is 2 minus 1 times d. Simplifying this further, this will give us 24 equals a sub 1 plus 1 times d. Okay, so expressing this in terms of d, so this will give us 24 minus a sub 1, or uh, sorry, 24 minus d rather equals a sub 1. Okay, so this is our first equation. Now, this time we're going to consider the five terms. Okay, and so that will give us a formula a sub 5 equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Now, our fifth term is 3. And our a sub 1 is unknown, plus our n this time is 5, since there are 5 terms, minus 1 times d. Alright, and so this will give us 3 equals a sub 1 plus 4d. Okay, and so this will give us 3 minus 4d equals a sub 1. This is our equation 2. Now, if you notice, we can now equate equation 1 and equation 2 in order for us to solve for d. Okay, so solving for d. Solving for d. Okay. So, this will give us now a... So this will give us now 24 minus d equals 3 minus 4d, okay? And so this will give us a negative d plus 4d equals 3 minus 24. And this will give us 3d equals 3 minus 24 is negative 21, right? So dividing both sides by 3. Okay, this will give us d equals negative 7. Alright, so this is our, this is the value of d. Okay, now what will be the first term of the sequence given that d is negative 7? So we can substitute d to any uh, of the formula that we have here. So let's have here... Uh, Solving for, okay, let's change the color, A sub 1, okay? So, we're going to use formula 
equation number one. So that will give us uh, 24 minus d equals a sub 1. And this will give us 24 minus negative 7 equals a sub 1. Or this will give us 24 plus 7 equals a sub 1. Okay? And that will give us a sub 1 equals 31. Okay. So we now have the answer. We have the common difference, which is negative 7, and we have the first term, which is 31. So if we're going to place 31 here, and the common difference is uh, negative 7, so 31 minus 7 is 24, okay? So minus 7, that will give us 17. Minus 7, that will give us, okay? That will give us 10, all right? And 10 minus 7, that will give us 3, okay? And so, it shows that our answer, or our answers are correct.